Hi, this is Kelly Phillips for PaperBeadRollers.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to roll one of the less common paper bead shapes, the bow tie. This adorable little guy is the bow tie paper bead. It does sort of look like a bow tie if you use your imagination. This bead shape can be made with one or two strips. Strip A is the core of the bead. Its only purpose is to make the bead thicker. Strip B makes the distinctive bow tie shape. You can make this bead using both strips or just with strip B, and I'm going to demonstrate both ways. Here are the exact measurements of the strips I'm demonstrating with. Strip A is a width of exactly one inch at the top. At one inch down, the strip angles in and ends at being three quarters of an inch width. The total length of this strip is three inches. Strip B is three quarters of an inch width all the way across. Then, at exactly three quarters of an inch down, you'll split your strip into three equally wide prongs. The trick is that the middle prong is shorter than the rest. In this case, my middle is 8 inches long, while my outside two are 10.5 inches long. Remember that the two outside prongs have straight edges. The entire width is always going to be 3 quarters of an inch wide. The angle is at the inside of those outside strips. Strip A and Strip B will end up resting against each other as we roll. So whatever proportions you decide to use for your strips, you need to make sure the bottom of Strip A and the top of Strip B are exactly the same width. If you aren't sure exactly how to cut this more advanced strip, you can purchase a template at paperbeadrollers.com. It's a digital download and it includes three types of files one PDF template that you can print on your printer at home to trace or cut out, one FCM file for use with a Brothers Scan and Cut machine, and one SVG file for use with other brands of cutting machines. One of these file types should work for whatever method you're using to make your strips. We'll start our bow tie bead by rolling strip A. I'm using a 1 8 inch bead roller from paperbeadrollers.com. That's the blue handled one. But you can use any size that you like. Roll strip A normally, keeping your rolls in the center. Glue the end as normal. Make sure the strip is firmly in place. If there's any extra glue, I like to spread it around because next we're going to apply strip B right at the point where strip A ends. I like to leave strip A in place for a few seconds before I start rolling to let the glue get tacky. We want to make sure it doesn't slip while we're rolling our three prongs. Once we start rolling, we will be putting a little bit of pressure on that joint. You can roll the prongs in any order, but I usually do the outsides first. That way I can make sure that the center of the bow tie is truly centered. You'll wrap this prong lined up to the outside, not centered. So the outside will be straight and the inside will be tapered. Go slow and try not to let the other two prongs get in your way too much. Just focus on the prong you're rolling. If you find that it's not setting up just right, unroll it a bit and start again. When you get to the last half inch or so, put a bit of glue on it and secure the end. I got a bit too much glue here, so I'm gonna wipe some off. Now I'm gonna do the other side the same way. Line it up straight on the outside and tapering in from the middle. Thank you. 
I didn't get things lined up quite right on this one. There's a little too much of a ledge on my taper. So I'm gonna unwrap it, just back it up a bit and keep rolling. Okay, now we're good, so let's move on to the middle section. This is the easiest of the three. You just center wrap the prong like a normal bead. Glue the end down and you're done you have a beautiful bow tie bead. Now for the second variation of this bead. We're going to make the bead without strip A. This is going to make a thinner bead that doesn't have those end pieces sticking out, just the bow tie part. You'll wrap this the exact same way starting with strip B. I think it's a little easier to wrap this strip by itself because the outer prongs line up straight with the edge of the paper. There's no guesswork here. You can use your fingers to adjust the wrap a little bit if you need to. Now do the same to the other side. Again, just keep the edge of the paper lined up. Go slow and make sure you get a nice shape to it. Stop and straighten it if you need to. And again, the last prong is a traditional center roll. I apologize for the cat. She likes to be a camera hog at times. You can stick around at the end for some of the cat bloopers that I was able to cut out of this filming. Here you can see the difference between a bow tie bead using both strip A and strip B and the bow tie bead using just strip B. The second bead is so thin, it almost looks like three beads stuck together. Let me know in the comments which of these styles you like the best. I hope this demonstration inspired you to try some bow tie beads for yourself. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell so you can be notified each time a new tutorial is uploaded. See you next time. Hopefully the middle one doesn't get in your way too much. This one I'll just I'll lean like this. A little better of an angle for me. <laughs>